Hi, my name is Laura and I'm the owner of Front Office Rocks, an online training resource for dental teams. And I'm also an office manager in a dental office in San Diego, California. I am an EagleSoft user and love EagleSoft as our practice management software and wanted to have the ability to help my team learn EagleSoft better, but found that there wasn't a lot of resources teaching my team how to implement EagleSoft in their day to day. So I decided to make my own. I'm doing videos to help my team get better at implementing EagleSoft. I'm not sponsored by anyone. This is on my own to not only help my team implement EagleSoft better in their day-to-day -day jobs, but now for you to be able to implement this in your practice. Welcome to the scheduling part of EagleSoft training. This, is, this video is an overview of the schedule. I wanted to just um, do a quick overview to show you all of the idiosyncrasies about the schedule. Maybe you are new to EagleSoft or you don't know of the the bells and whistles it offers. So I wanna talk about some of my favorite parts of EagleSoft um, schedule and how we use it in our practice. So one of the things I wanna point out is I am using our current schedule. So I have to be careful that I'm not uh, showing patient information. So I'm currently showing our schedule in consultation view. So if you are not familiar with this, there are different types of views that you can set up so that you can view you know, you view the schedule the way you like to view it. Now with the consultation view, what we have set up is you can only see the patient's first name. So that way, if we're in a consultation with other patients, when we have the schedule up, we're not showing all of the patient information. Maybe you're the financial coordinator and you want more financial information like money's owed first and then other information. You can customize it so that your view works best for you. However, in my office, what I suggest or what I do is we don't have a lot of different views. We actually have a couple of views because I tend to like to have everybody looking at the schedule similarly, no matter what desk I sit down at, I'd like to have them be similar or the same. So just note that if you would like to customize your view, anything that I'm showing you today, I'm just giving you an idea that it's available. You would want to reach out to EagleSoft and get some support from them as to how to set up the schedule the way you want. Now, the other thing I would like to point out is up here. These buttons probably look a little different than the ones that you have unless somebody has customized them. These buttons I have gone through and customized. I work with my EagleSoft trainer on this because I didn't know what a lot of these little pictures were and it wasn't easy for me to find things that I wanted. So we went through and customized it and gave each button a name. We also put all of the buttons we use the most on the first row, the buttons we use the second, second most, I guess, on the second row, and took off buttons that we don't use at all. Now you can also get to the same thing just like on the home page for the pull downs here, but a lot of people, if you're like me, like to click on the buttons. So if you want some help with how to do that, I would definitely recommend that you reach out to EagleSoft. The next thing to note is we have these buttons that can be customized. We have our setup that if you click on today, it's going to take you to today and you can get forward a day at a time or backwards a day at a time. You also have this calendar. So if this calendar wasn't here, you can click on calendar and now the calendar is going to come up, which is going to give you the ability to click on a certain day. So you can move forward by, to a certain day or you can move forward three months or six months at a time. So the, this is really good for when you're trying to find a specific day and time for your patients. Now, if you see, if I go away, if I click on this little docking button and I click off of it, sorry, it will actually disappear. So I can have that dock sitting over here, use it when I want, click off of it and it'll go away. I personally, in my office, I like to have it open all the time but we only have nine chairs that we're, well, we have eight chairs and one chair for a call uh, for blocks for events and things that we're doing. If I had 15 or 20 chairs, I'd probably want this to go away. Um, but you can, I just wanted you to know that you can pin and hide or unhide um, a lot of these docks. The other thing you can do is you can change the docks. So I, if you see here in the middle, if I'm holding this over, I can change this dock and now I can put the schedule or the calendar at the top. If I want, I could put the calendar at the bottom. So depending on your preferences, you can move it to wherever you want. You can also do the same with the appointment queue. Now, what the appointment queue is, if it's hidden, it's gonna go like that. Um, there's also a button for it, or I've put a button here. 
um, or you can dock it. So with the appointment queue, what that is, is it allows you not to lose appointments, quote unquote. It allows you to kind of hold appointments in a holding pattern so that you won't accidentally move an appointment and forget about it and delete it. Um, such as, let me show you, if I take this appointment and I select move, it's currently in a move mode in EagleSoft in my schedule. And do you see it's sitting up here in the move? Now let's say I want to move it to 9 a.m. I'm going to paste it and now it's not over here any longer. So what it does is sometimes, you know, we're on the phones, we're talking to patients, we're doing things, and maybe you had the best intention to move this appointment, but you never finish through with a move. When you go to close EagleSoft schedule, it's going to tell you you have appointments sitting there. Do you want to do something with them? So it's just a checks and balances for you to make sure that you don't basically move an appointment and forget to put it in the new spot. The other thing we have over here is unscheduled appointments. Now, I'm not showing them because they have some of my patients in there and I have to protect privacy, but what we do in my office is basically the clinicians, before they bring the patient up, they will make the next appointment for us, whether it's their recare appointment, a primary appointment for a crown, um, an eval, whatever it is, they make the next appointment, they make it the length they want, and they attach the codes necessary for that appointment, and then they pin it. They put it over here and it sits in a list. Then they bring the patient to us and they basically hand the patient off, tell us the information of the, what we need for the next appointment. And then we can slide the appointment from this list right into the day and time that works best for the patient. So if you're not using appointment queue or pinning, you can definitely reach out to me. I can send you information on it or get on the phone with your live support or FAQs. Um, with EagleSoft and get help with that because it's really nice to be able to just take the appointment from when we're sitting at the front and slide it in. It's the right length that has the right codes in it and it's, it's exactly what we need. So that's another thing about appointment queue. Now, there's a few other things about EagleSoft. One of them is going to be, let me kind of go ahead of day, is there's going to be something called perfect day scheduling. You can look this up in EagleSoft and basically what this is, is I can set up a template to have the day um, sh to show me what I want the day to look like, where I want primary appointments, where I want to save appointments for new patients, where I want lunch. If you see here, lunch is scheduled at 12.30 here and at 12 here. The ones that are grayed out are, are um, chairs or, or providers that aren't here and the ones that are open and are, are white. Now your schedule might not look like this because maybe you have different colors. This can all be customized. So if you want to customize your schedule, make it more obvious, you can make this turquoise or whatever color you want. Now, one of the things with the perfect schedule is it's great if you want to put together, like, here's where the primaries go. Here's what time we have lunch. The only issue is it's really easy to schedule over this. I could put an appointment here and it won't give me any sort of error. It won't say, hey, you've got lunch scheduled that day or at that time. So what I prefer to do is I prefer to use blocks. So I put in the blocks because you can't schedule over a block. I can move a block up or down, I can move it to another column, but I can't put an appointment in over that block. So that is my preference to schedule, let's say I wanna have primaries in the morning, I'm gonna put a block in, and then nobody can schedule over that until this is moved, and then a primary appointment is put in. So there's two ways you can do it. You can put blocks in the way I do, um, or you can, you can do perfect day, and if you want help with that, you reach out to EagleSoft and they'll help you with that. Now, the other couple things I want to point out, like I said, these are all customizable based off of what you want in your practice. There's a few buttons that are specific to schedule that you may or may not be aware of. One I told you about was the scheduling views. The other one is finding free time. Now, I don't use this very much in my office. Um, we don't really need it. But if I had a bigger office with a lot more providers, I could see how this would be a value. And basically, it's you can search for the patient. You can find, let's say the patient only wants to see Dr. Hatch and they want, um, it's for a primary appointment, so which it's two hours in my office, and they only want to come in, you know, between March 15th and April 12th, and they only want to come in on Monday, third, Wednesday, or Monday or Wednesday. So then now I can hit search, and it's going to give me the options of days that Dr. Hatch is available with a two-hour appointment. So I could see that being a big value if you had a big practice that you were trying to find appointments or you had specialists maybe that come only certain days of the week, that would be a value to you. Another thing that I wanna point out is find patient appointment. Now I'm not actually gonna click on it. I'll hold on to here. If I'm clicked on this patient, 
and I do find patient appointment, what it's going to do is it's going to show me for another test, my patient, the current appointments they have scheduled, which is the 18th, and any past appointments. So if I want to just verify when the patient's been in in the past or what they have coming up, I'm, I can click on the patient and I'll see the current and past appointments. If I want to search for a certain patient, let's say it's not this patient you're looking for somebody, you can click off of any appointment. You can click find patient appointment, then you can put in the patient's name and it will do the same thing. Now, I don't want to do it because it's going to pull up my patient list, but just be somewhere off in the schedule, hit find patient appointment, and you can search that way. Another thing that I can point out that I love about EagleSoft, in case you're not um, you know, using all of this yet, is I love, and this is one of the reasons I've actually left another um, practice management software and switched over to EagleSoft, because personally, I love this. This is called the provider colors right here, and you can switch it from provider to appointment type. So for me, if you actually look at this, for us, blue is Profix, purple is Perio, uh, green is primaries, yellow are new patients. So I can look at the schedule and see, do we have a lot of Profix today? Do we have a lot of Perio today? How many new patients are we seeing? So for the front office team, this is a really good way to see kind of what the whole day looks like. How many new patients are we going to have to greet? All of that. From the provider side, this actually shows which providers assign to the patient. So each doctor has their own color, each hygienist has their own color, and they can then look at this and say, you know, this is the doctor doing the exam or this is the doctor that's seeing the patient. So you can switch between provider and, and appointment type color, which I lo really love. The other thing that I actually like a lot is the day, week, and month. So now this is the day view, which we're looking at now. I don't tend to use the week view. <laughs> if you can see that, this is our week and it looks insane. Um, I personally don't like the week view because I have too many chairs. Maybe if you're only running a couple chairs for like the doctors, the week view might work for you. And then there's the month view. And I like this because what this does is shows me for the month how many appointments we have scheduled, what our scheduled amount is, what our goal is, and how we're doing against our goal. So if you're really trying to track against the goal, I like the monthly view. Okay, so then the last thing I wanna show is I just wanna show about the goal, since we just talked about it, where does that number come from? So if you look up here, this is next, this Saturday, I put in this fake appointment. And if you see that our goal is $0, that's the goal right here, this is zero, because we're not open that day. But we're actually, do, our production is 1515. So this is where the numbers pull from. If you double click on this, that was a good picture of my mom. If you double click on this, you see right here that we have a crown associated with this fake patient. And here's the dollar amount, okay? So that's where it's pulling from. So if you're ever wondering what the number is coming from at the top, it's coming from how much you have scheduled in the day. So on that note, that is kind of the overview with schedule. I know that there are some FAQs that will help you get your setup, and I would recommend that you definitely get on online with um, live help and support to get it customized to make it work best for you because the schedule is what makes or breaks the day, and the better you understand how to get around the schedule easily, the easier your day is going to go. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is a resource that I've developed for my team, but I wanted to share it with your team because I know what it's like to be in the dental office day to day and how to make this help us do our jobs better. So please make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos coming your way. Put comments at the bottom to let us know how you're implementing this part of EagleSoft in your practice. And if you wanna learn more about how to implement great training in your dental office, you can find me at frontofficerocks.com.